In the last video, we proved the sum difference formulas for sine and cosine of two angles, and we used a combination of geometry and algebra to do that. But in this video, we'll purely use algebra to show that the sum difference formulae for tangent of two angles exists as well. So you may recall that tan of an angle, alpha, is equal to the sine of alpha divided by the cos of alpha. This then implies that if I have the addition of another angle, so tan of alpha plus beta, this would be equal to the sine of alpha plus beta divided by the cos of alpha plus beta. So that should be pretty straightforward. So we're just adding a, another angle into each of these terms. But we found that in the last video that the sine of alpha plus beta is equal to the sine of alpha by cos of beta plus the sine of beta by cos of alpha. And we also found that the cos of alpha plus beta is equal to cos of alpha cos of beta minus the sine of alpha by the sine of beta. What I can do now is to divide the top and the bottom by cos of alpha to maintain equivalency. So on the next line I would have sine of alpha by cos of beta divided by cos of alpha plus the sine of beta by cos of alpha divided by cos of alpha all over. And now dividing the denominator by cos alpha I get cos alpha by cos beta divided by cos alpha minus the sine of alpha by sine beta divided by cos alpha. And simplifying this we will get sine of alpha divided by cos of alpha is equal to tan of alpha and the cos beta remains as it is plus cos of alpha divided by cos of alpha is equal to 1 and sine of beta remains cos alpha divided by cos of alpha cancels and the cos of beta remains and the sine of alpha divided by cos of alpha is equal to tan of alpha and the sine of beta remains. Now I can do as I did before and divide the top and bottom by cos beta and of course I could have combined these two steps together but I separated them for clarity. So what we have is tan of alpha by cos beta on cos beta plus sine beta divided by cos beta all over cos beta divided by cos beta minus tan alpha by sine beta divided by cos beta. And simplifying this, these cos betas cancel out and we are left with tan alpha sine beta divided by cos beta is equal to tan beta. This term cancels out to become 1 minus and tan of alpha remains and sine beta divided by cos beta is equal to tan beta. So the identity of tan of alpha plus beta is equal to the tan of alpha plus the tan of beta 
all over 1 minus tan alpha by tan beta. And of course, we can use this result. So if I say convert this positive beta into a negative beta, so we have alpha minus beta, tan of alpha remains as it is, and in each instance of beta we substitute a negative beta, so we have tan of negative beta, 1 minus tan alpha by tan of negative beta, and tan of negative beta is equal to the negative of tan of beta, so these negatives can come out the front. So we have tan of alpha minus the tan of beta, all over 1 plus, because this negative has come out the front and a double negative becomes a positive, tan alpha by tan beta. So the identity of tan of alpha minus beta is equal to the tan of alpha minus the tan of beta all over 1 plus tan alpha by tan beta. And we can further use this result. So let's say that alpha and beta are equal to each other, in which case we will have the tan of 2 alpha so we'll have tan alpha plus tan alpha divided by 1 minus tan alpha by tan alpha. And this gives us 2 by tan alpha on the top over 1 minus tan squared alpha on the bottom. And this is another handy identity to remember. Alright, so thanks for watching this video. If you have found this useful, please give me a thumbs up and please share. And please feel free to subscribe for future videos that may help with your math studies. Oh, and don't be afraid to ask questions by commenting below. Good luck.